I'm going to go ahead and make a Mexican style lasagna again for you. Went ahead and I got a uh, soft taco kit. Some saltines. You can use um, really any kind of corn chips. I got some mushrooms. That's a personal taste. I like them. Diced tomatoes. You got the little packet that comes with the old El Paso taco kit. You got uh, of course your soft tacos and cheese. And uh, of course you have your meat as well. I've already cooked that. It's sitting on the stove ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, together for you. It's going to be absolutely wonderful. It always is. Alright folks, let me start off by saying there really is no wrong way to do this. I put uh, saltines on the bottom because a little bit of sour mixed with a little bit of sweet adds a nice contrast. You can uh, really put anything down here for the base that you want. It also uh, uh, makes sure the pan doesn't get too crusty. It's easier to clean and it sucks up a lot of the juices. So it's kind of a win-win. I like to put uh, some tomatoes you know in with the base kind of scatter them around a little bit have the tomatoes I'm gonna put a little cheese down there too I have uh, a mild cheddar and a Monterey Jack I like the mild cheddar it's not as strong of course as the sharp cheddar but uh, Stick that there, spread it around a little. That's going to be the bottom layer. Um, now I use the soft tacos for the layering, which turns out absolutely wonderful every time. If you if you haven't done this, seriously, you need to you need to give this a try. You know, um, like I said, I've never gotten a complaint. It always goes over very well and uh, it feeds a lot of people I don't really have a lot of people to feed but you know a couple friends family visits something like that it uh, works out next I'm gonna go ahead put in the meat see that there okay this is just uh, basically ground chicken put that there that now what I did was in the uh, taco kit there's a little packet in that packet is uh, I guess kind of the uh, the powdery stuff you know you kind of combine with the meat to make like taco so this this is gonna taste like taco meat basically it's gonna be absolutely wonderful um, Gonna go ahead and put on the uh, mushrooms. Kind of shake them out there. Like I said, this uh, this is wonderful. The only thing you really have to uh, prep for is the meat. As long as you cook that first, you should be golden. I'm gonna go ahead and the little sauce packet that comes with the taco kit. Of course we're not making tacos but I want to uh, grab the scissors real quick. Oh. Yeah I want to go ahead and put that on there too. Add another uh, another level of kick. It's uh, it's really a no-brainer. I mean you, you kind of dump everything in a pan and talk about impressing your friends and your family too this is sort of dish that uh, anybody can do they can do it easily too I'm gonna go ahead put up another layer just just like a lasagna you know instead of the instead of the noodles you're just going ahead and layering it with the soft tacos which uh, I think is a total genius idea. Of course I came up with it so I'm a little biased. <laughs> there you go. Kind of moosh it in a little bit. 
Moosh. Moosh. Yes, my hands are very clean. I'm going to top it off with Monterey Jack. Cheese. Which is, this is going to be wonderful. I am so looking forward to this. I haven't made this in a really long time. And, uh, I call it my Mexican style lasagna, which I guess is sort of what it is. I mean, you know, Mexican American style lasagna. But uh, I, I get, uh, if I have guests coming over or something like that, they'll specifically ask, hey, are you making that Mexican lasagna stuff? And if I say no, they're like, well, maybe I'll come by another day. <laughs> and there you have it, folks. That is the prep. All I have to do is stick it in the oven just long enough to melt the cheese. I mean, 20 minutes on, uh, you know, 250 degrees will do it. So we're gonna we're gonna do that and look at the finished product. All right, this uh, I guess I should entitle this video "How to Keep Your Friends in One Dish," but. Uh, <laughs> But no, it looks absolutely wonderful. It smells absolutely wonderful. And uh, I'm going to portion this out into little uh, little containers and eat on this for a very, very long time. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments or insight or your own particular recipe or anything you want to share, just feel free to do so. And uh, have an absolutely wonderful day. Hello, thanks for watching, if you don't mind, if you could like and subscribe, that would be lovely. Thank you, and have a nice day.